The Kelly Clarkson Show highlights a Bay Area nonprofit that helps children through hip hop therapy. With a $10,000 contribution, Clarkson took the Beats Rhymes and Life representatives by surprise. On The Kelly Clarkson Show this week, a local nonprofit that uses hip hop therapy to assist young people was highlighted. According to its website, the Oakland based nonprofit Beats Rhymes and Life works to reduce stigma and increase access for youth of color and other marginalized youth seeking therapeutic services. The charitable organization's goal is to cultivate dynamic, culturally congruent services through community engagement and the therapeutic power of hip hop that inspires youth to recognize their own capacity for healing and self expression. Rob Jackson, the co founder of Beats Rhymes and Life, and Lemander, a former student who is now a staff member, joined Clarkson, along with show guest. Common to talk about their community service on Tuesday. 20 years ago is when it all began. Our goal was to provide young people with a chance to heal. It really is that easy, Jackson remarked. We are aware that when it comes to our company, individuals in the black and brown communities in particular don't trust us. We also internalize a great deal of trauma, including complex trauma and post traumatic stress disorder, as a result of that. Jackson clarifies that social professionals, peer experts, and teaching artists collaborate on group projects with kids between the ages of 12 and 17 through Beats Rhymes and Life. The main goal is to provide young people the chance to examine their own stories, which involves looking at both themselves and their community. The history of hip-hop is then examined as, according to Jackson, it all began with the idea of speaking out against injustice and the problems in our community. So, for us, it's about combining things like narrative therapy, solution-focused therapy and self psychology Ecology, and partnering with our triads to do our groups. Hip Hop, according to three-time Grammy Award winner Common, has served as his own form of rehabilitation. I love that you all make the connection, remarked Common. I actually didn't realize until much later that, when I was writing different songs, I was releasing certain things from my songs that were inside of me, things that I had experienced. And when I heard them, or when people approached me and said, hey, your song made me decide to have my child, or it made me decide to start doing meditation, I got to study them. According to its website, Beats Rhymes and Life has taught more than 1,500 social service professionals, hosted more than 35 youth showcases, and assisted more than 4,500 youth. Following the interview, Clarkson gave the Beats Rhymes and Life representatives a surprise gift of $10,000 in donations, $5,000 of which came from the online mental health resource Cerebral, and $5,000 from Clarkson herself. Clarkson remarked, I think what you're doing is so cool. It's a really helpful way and such a healthy outlet.